that many players. It's just, it's not the field owner's fault. It's just the field itself. You gotta work with what with, with what you got. But if you're sending people out there like that big. That's just called you're being a dumbass owner because. Sometimes you can't send that many people out. It's going to be a bloodbath and everyone's going to get pissed. What can you do? So, you know, it's just, it's just like, oh, there's 30 kids here and I'm like here too. Yeah, you, you really just fuck off. I'm not playing it because unless you do an actual game that actually allows for the field to be used at its max but not over max then it's kind of like fuck you. I'm paying money for something that I can't enjoy because of the player base. Why do you think I don't play Airsoft at, this, at places anymore? It's just bullshit because either it's over way too crowded in the arena or the people there suck. Yeah, I... And I personally left a gun there, like a pistol, okay? I dropped it in the arena. Some kid picked it up, okay? Yeah, and then he sold it to another kid that I saw have it the one day when I was at an outdoor event. I was like, let me see that. Yeah, I have photo evidence, it's mine, I marked it. Because I mark all my guns, whether you believe it or not, all my guns are specifically in marked locations that I've documented. So if you steal from me, I can tell where, what, what gun you stole and what parts are in it. Simple enough. And this kid paid 50 bucks for a $130 gun. Let that sink in. And the worst part is... If I wasn't a businessman, I would have said, fuck you, I'm going to beat your ass to a pulp and taking it from you. That's really how it is, because you're, a, yeah, you're, you're in possession of stolen goods. And, and I'm just like, you know what? Take a look at what I have in the trunk. Thank God he traded for a fucking ACOG scope that I paid, what he basically paid for the gun used. I said, I didn't like that scope. You like it? Trade you. Because I'm a businessman. I'm a reasonable man. Don't get me wrong. We're all out here to make money. That's why God put us on the earth or whatever the fuck he wants to do. Playing, like, life or whatever. I don't know. But, like, I'm a businessman. I can... I can deal, you know? Yeah, you may have gotten stolen property, but I'm like... I could either be a jackass or a total nice guy. And personally, I didn't like that ACOG scope to begin with, so it was like... No big deal off my back. I wasn't going to send it back to Eve. Like, fuck that. <coughs> so in the end, it worked out for both him and me. Enough said. But, sticky fingers, man? Come on. If you guys weren't kids, and I saw you touching my stuff, I'd be like, yeah, put it down. And then I see you touch it again. I carry a fucking hammer in this toolbox. And it ain't no mallet either. It's like, I will beat you dead. You touch my shit. Because you're, you're a kid. Yeah, but you know better than to be touching other things, other people's stuff. I hope so. Hashtag blame the parents and schools. You feel me? So it's like, yeah. And that's really more or less social contract. Come on. It's built... And we're supposed to be taught it from a young age. And what can I say? 